It has been a minute since I made a video, and I, I have nothing to do right now. So, here's a video. Hey Josh, couldn't you have made like a whole bunch of videos last year while you were in lockdown and actually had nothing to do? Just run the damn intro. This is the intro to the video. Today we're playing Sable. I am so excited. I've been looking forward to this game for years. I don't even know when it was announced, but it felt like so long ago. It's only the demo, um, but I am so, so keen to get into this and just actually see what it's like. Oh. Oh, even the music already. What the heck? It's so... Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, I wish this was out now. That music is gorgeous. And all this UI stuff, it's so crisp and clean. Oh, I love it. Mmm. Shedworks. Look at that art, man! Ah, oh, it looks so good. It's so interesting. Okay, it hasn't registered that I'm using a controller. <laughs> I love her animations for this. It's like she's almost at like half frame rate or something. Like Miles Morales in Spider-Verse. How uh, that and he just kind of looks framey. It's so cool. It's so cool. Ooh, hello. Just walked into it. Now I'm climbing. Button. Yes. It's so, it looks so cool. It looks like 2D, but not. Ah, oh, <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. I wish I knew how to do art. Okay, cool. So there is a stamina thing going on, like Breath of the Wild style. Is there anything over there, or do I need to climb up? Well, not, not that, I don't want to climb up that. All right. No, stop climbing things. You're too eager. Just relax. Just chill. Alright. Cool. Jeez, that's close on the butt. Just just come out. Alright. Oh. Ah. Oh. The color. It's so good. Look at that. Mmm. Am I... Do I keep going down? Maybe this way. I don't know what the what the full damage is like. It seems like a realistic-ish game. So, I don't know. Look at the black kind of disappearing. So it doesn't look like there's a step there. And then you move the camera around and... Oh, there isn't a step there. <laughs> uh, damn it. Damn it, Josh. Idiot. All right, it's fine. It's we're good. We're good here. Like that. Uh, it's not doing this. Just shut up. I am loving her animations and the like the walk. Look at this. All right, the walk into like a bit more of a, a run and then like a sprint and then like a full on go for it. There's there's three parts to that. She even like there. She's just walking. If you go that little bit faster, she starts to, to like, make a fist. 
and then she starts to real, really swing her arms. And then her arms are like almost going straight as she's running. Those animations are sick. Oh, hello. I ask why there is such an interest in beetles in the first place, only to regret the next two minutes. At least she's enthusiastic about something. Okay. I'm not doing voices for this one. I just... I'm not in the mood tonight. <laughs> Were those sheep wearing masks as well? Everyone is wearing a mask. Interesting. Am I wearing a mask? I am. Okay, they're talking about masks. I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I don't know if I read that in the right tones there, but it's fine. I'm nervous she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little worried about. I'm so bad at reading. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Oh, so that was me? Talking the first thing? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that was like in a monologue? I don't know what's going on yet. Uh, I know, I know. I tell, okay, it isn't in a monologue. I tell JD that I know, but that hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? Do they have bikes? In this game? It seems like an interesting civilization to have bicycles. You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman. And how wonderful it, the wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and you put those grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Probably not tear. I assume it's tear, because she'd be riding around. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. JD reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. No, she doesn't. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I don't know where to start. You guys can hear that. JD's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Keeps chuckling. Well, I can help with that. You need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? I asked JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. All right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay within the Abexi. But, truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. Don't try and use me as an excuse to come home early, eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? There's a lot of, a lot of opening dialogue. Little beef compass. Oh, I like that! Oh, that's cool! I like how integrated it is. Mmm. Yeah, it just looks so cool. What are you what are you playing with? Ooh. I made it float. This guy's clever. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. They didn't. Sable, take this! Gliding stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone. It nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Miss Sable, you don't know what this is, do you? What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Connectedness sounds deep. So I'm gonna choose that one. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. Did I say connectedness? I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. <laughs> Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I guess that's what Halal did. Okay, okay. 
can I fall off this? I can. Okay. I don't know if there's fall damage on in this game. I just didn't want to risk it. What is it here? Ooh. Wait. That's... That's only telling me to go over there, but one of my missions is right here. Is it too close for it to be on the map? I wouldn't have thought so. I'm confused. It's lost one of the things. Anyway, it's fine. It's a demo. Probably fixing it. Although I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns. What was that animation? You okay, man? Sable, uh, hello. I was told you have something for me. I told Driss that I was told he had something for me. Yes. Yes. I saw that. Something special? I nod meaningfully, but he didn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. I'm not good at reading. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at this. I'm not very good at this. It's been a while since I've made a video and had to talk to people that aren't actually there right now. I asked Driss if you might sort of possibly have a bike for me. Your bike. He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike. Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to, that I prepared for you. Because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. Right, yes, of course. Right, yes, yes, I do have that. I mixed up all of those words. By which I mean I arranged it for you in, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. <laughs> a tutorial? Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of gliding, but just does seem earnest, sort of. I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's not really at his side, it's kind of more in front of him and on a ledge or something. Now ride the bike through that ring and back. And here's some advice, my young glider. Don't fall off. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we got strafing side to side. Oh wait, that's weird. Okay, there. Yeah. Oh! That is very strange. Pressing A goes into strafe mode. It's not like press and hold A to go into strafe mode. So I'm not actually holding A right now, but if I press it again, then I go into like steering mode. That's gonna take a little while to get used to, I think. That's weird. What a strange choice. Made it! Did he make my bike in that time? Whoa, slow down! I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How's your first pre-glide flight? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if it was on fire, even a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I should have said the other one. Damn it, I'm going too fast. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Am I not getting a bike? Were well, you getting the use of this sand cutter? That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. With my confidence in this exercise only slightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hillel. Have I already done it, though? I think I need to do this first. Or at least I'm going to do this first. Just to get away from dialogue. A lot of dialogue so far. It's very dialogue heavy. This thing is not very fast. It's not as fast as I would have liked. To be honest, it's quite slow. 
Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Okay. Do I go through that? Probably need to get up there. Is that a thing I can go through? It's hard to know. No. No, it's just like a bit of bridge. Alright. I'll go around the side. Uh, this is good. Oh, man. Come on, make it, make it! Oh! Wait, wait. Let it, let it chill, let it chill. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, okay, we're good. Jeez. The music, though. It's so nice. It's got such a good atmosphere. Man. Very excited for this full game. I think it's September. I think it was like September 24 or something. Double check that, but... Very keen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, definitely no fall damage. I'm very close. Camera, chill. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that the one at the back is my sand cutter, the bike thing. It's an assumption. the glowing oh the lighting just changed there between this everything goes per oh man it's so cool it's so interesting Ooh, the cutscene okay the stone thrums like a beat of a heart as I approach the altar am I afraid Yes and no. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Was she moving? Or was that me? Can I glide now? This was the gliding. And that was a gliding stone. So do I just now have like the ability to glide? Do I not need a bike anymore? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe it just gave me like another Breath of the Wild ability to sort of be able to jump off stuff and glide. But then Breath of the Wild also used like horses and the motorbike and stuff. Which is the equivalent of the bike in this. The stone, uh, the sand cutter. Whatever. Shh. Shh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Just with like a cool fancy art style. There you go. Who would have thought? Love that red, and I think if things are close to the side of it, that's when it starts to get that orange, the yellowy orange look. Nah, never mind, that's just like a random orby glow thing. Ignore me. Always. And forever. Oh. Uh... 
Oh, that's it. Okay. I'm just gonna glide over to that. Climb up that. Shh. Shh. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, man! Uh, how? How am I meant to do that? It's not cool. Okay, I think that's it. Alright. Go back in here. Everything goes cool purple. Come up to this. So I just needed to do all of that, but like, on closer platforms. The camera's a little funky, it kind of jumps in and out a lot, like really close to her. Which is a little bit weird, but it's okay. We good. Alright, alright, we got this, we got there, we got there. Here we go. Uh... I was nervous, so I was heading over to the right, but we're good. The glide can get us far enough. Oh, the color changed again. Man, it's so nice. Just those little design choices are so cool. Mm. I like that she's kind of shaking and quit. Like, it looks like she's kind of quivering. A little bit because like who has ever done this before um, or like who was confident on their first glide down like that I wonder whether she'll become she probably won't whether she'll become more uh, confident over time but probably not I would assume that's just the animation but on that glide it kind of looks like she's quivering a little bit which is cool it's a nice little touch make that a thing that she quivers less over time. Hey bud. Do you have too much to say? Umar is a man of few words. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And he's nothing if not consistent. Sweet. Great. That real that legitimately answered a lot of questions. Well, the one. The one question that I just had. I'm a coming. I'm a coming, my dude. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? It, it, incredible, you just said it, right? Strange, I'm a little queasy. I was, I was shaken, I was quivering. The anim my animation was shaken. I tell Halal that there's something a bit disorienting about it, and that I haven't quite understood how best to use it yet. Well, don't worry about that. There's plenty of time, and before long, you're going to be floating off cliffs with impunity. Trust me, you're going to love it. Lull's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much. That feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there, heaving myself into chasms. Jeez. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. That's what I like to hear. So this guy's a giggler. The other one was a chuckler. This guy giggled, apparently. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a real serious focus. Hello, laughs. No, he giggles. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice, and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower, 
It seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Caesar has a task for me. Okay. Caesar, I'm coming, buddy. Caesar, my man. What up? Caesar was an outclaimer to the Ubexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind, distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Caesar has been among us so long, it is easy to forget that it's, assi that it's an assignment first and foremost. I'm so bad at reading, there's going to be so many cuts in this. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. It's... The language in this is just weird too. Some nervous othering? But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. I'm sorry guys, I'm butchering this. I'm just butchering this writing. It's probably better than what you think it is because of my reading of it and the way I am talking at one word at a time with gaps. Sable, how did you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Caesar has a throaty quality in her voice. It rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and an alarm when I managed to make her chuckle. Yes, JD told me how excited you were. Cezo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think you may have... I knew it. What? I would meant to say that out loud. That's pretty funny. So I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts for yourself. Am I going to make my own hover bike? Yeah. I asked Caesar if I'm expected to make my own hover bike. No, you aren't going to make your hover bike. You're going to build your own hover bike. Ooh. What's the difference? What is the difference? To make suggests you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. But that's, but that's everything, right? Here, take this. The Navigator. Is that a telescope? Oh, I hope it's a telescope. It's probably kind of a telescope. Uh, that's, it sounded like I was reading that, but I'm not. Uh, this is a Navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in fighting the old parts. I asked Caesar where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in the fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there, near the camp. You'll find another on that great rock, near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it! Until Caesar, I'll see you soon, off in search of the components. Together, we will create something new out of the old. Okay, okay. Is it... I think... I think it's like that? Yeah, weird. Okay. I'm not really sure where the other thing was that he told me to go to. Like, is it... I've gone too far again. I just... I cannot... That's such a weird mechanic. I feel like it was that? Maybe? And then there was another thing over there. Behind the dam. Damn! That'll live. Alright, let's do it. Uh, that one first. Wait. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, the markers are on the thing. Sweet! Oh, uh, where's the black? I need to fly to the black. Alright, first marker. Can I even climb up this? Nope. Okay. Can I get there from the other side? Does this get smaller at some point? 
Okay. Okay. There is a... Oh. Oh, is that the thing? Oh. Is that how I'm going to get up there? It is. Was there another way? I don't know. Seems a little bit... I don't know. I'm a bit unsure of that. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? New item. Chum egg. Ooh. Ooh. Chum egg. Perfectly round, hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. <laughs> okay. Sure thing, buddy. That's weird. That's very weird. What else am I doing here? This is where it told me to go, right? Alright, I've just sat in silence for like four hours, not that long. Because I have no idea where I'm meant to go. But I've come to the dam, which is the one place that I'm certain that I'm meant to be. Out of the three places that she told me to go. I went to the other two, couldn't find a thing. I have no idea. I have no idea what I was meant to do there. But I'm doing this. Found something. See, there's a there's like shiny stuff here. The other two had nothing like this. What is this? Nothing. Everything I open has nothing in it, and it's very annoying. Pressing a button at a dam and a door opening seems like a really bad idea as well. Because, like, it's not holding back water. And if a door opens, what if that's just the water? Right? Anyone else be as concerned about that as I am? Is there going to be like a pot in here that I can open and has nothing in it? No. Dialogue? Cute. Cute. I like that. That's a cool little animation, too. Oh, this is very nice. It all looks very nice. I saw something here. But what's that light? It's just a light. Sometimes lights are just lights. Who would have known? Okay, I got the first thing. So, I want to find the other ones. Damn it! How? How do I do that? Tell me where the things are. I don't know. No, tell me where they are. No, <laughs> please. Is it that glowy thing? Is there another glowy thing somewhere? Because it seems to be like very obvious glowy things are what I'm meant to go near. We go to whatever that red glowy thing is. To the red glowy thing. Let's do it. I saw them do this in the trailer, so I just wanted to do this. Yeah. Onward. Oh, 
Ooh, getting a bit of a angelic sound. I wonder if that's it seems like a good thing. Maybe I'm close. It's like a hint. It's a nice hint. It's calming, but with anticipation? It's a cool sound. I wonder whether that's just in the soundtrack or whether that's like additional onto the soundtrack. It's very nice either way. Like that little hint. Wherever there are birds, that is where you fly. I assume. That's a big machine. Ooh, there he is! Atomic power supply. Got him, yes! I have been through this. I've done this already. I've been around this thing. There's nothing there. I've been up there. There is also nothing there. Was this even the right place to go? Ooh, I'm tempted to say it was not, and that I'm meant to be here. That's handy. Alright, alright, whoa. Jeez. Ooh, this is cool. I like this one. Sick. That's probably an atomic calibrator. Nope. It certainly is not. That's... nope. I noticed a blinking light flashing on the... Push the button. The voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, but it's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping someone else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Some sort of mechanical adjustments seem to be being made. I hear the sound of three clicks. Buttons be uh, being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Ramen. Sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. But no, Rahana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Rahana. Rahana. Oh, that was one of the... The goddess things? Maybe? Suddenly the speakers are filled with static, crackling and a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then the sound of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainingly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. Ungainingly? This writing is very... pretentious. <laughs> okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow down a bit. How do we do that, Raymond? Let me check what the machinist wrote down for us. A long pause. The whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like someone pulling, pushing every button as quickly as possible plays out, just like how I'd read those words too quickly and wasn't able to say them. Raymond? That lever you just ripped out, Tomar. That was how we slow the thing down. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off here. Ooh, jeez. That is... Heavy days. So... The ship has nothing for me. Leave it alone. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought this was going to be my... This is music. Okay. Are you looking for a calibrator? Yes, I am. I know. Same as looking gle gleefully. She's not looking, she looks. She's always been a mischief maker. You won't find it here, I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never! I need it. Do you? Oh well, maybe you'll find it on your own, but I don't think so. Seema laughs off my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you. But I want some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? Beetles? I stifle a sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in camp know where I can find some. Oh, come on. I could ask about catching beetles for Seymour, that wretched child. 
There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it though. There's some seeds growing out of the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor, a beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. All right. East, east, east. North, south, east. Is that it? This camera's a little, a little funky sometimes. Is it up here? Please be up here. I just, I just want to get this over and done with for the video. Nope. Alright, I just need to figure out where to get the freaking the seeds. It's a seed. Right? Doing it. We're doing it, guys. Boom. Gotcha. Suck up. Alright. How do I get out? Is that you? Is that her? Come back. Good. You leave, you leave and never come back. Oh, that's why she stole it. Okay, she doesn't want me to go. That's pretty sweet. She's very annoying though. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. Promise to find Yara. No one's heard from her in years. Same as voice trembles. You'll find her, won't you? Tell her to write to me. I miss her. Got all the parts. Yes. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. I return to see her with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again, once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Let's head to the workshop. Ooh, yes! Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Caesar is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They've always belonged to her. I don't know what they're talking about. All we're doing is assembling her, from what she's already been. I nod and feel soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those equipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. This is very sweet. This is kind of cool. We're literally building the bike piece by piece. This is cool. Gliding bike front. And. Gliding bike booster. Here we go. Here we go. Press the button. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The camera's facing a weird direction that I wasn't expecting. Boom. I was going to say third boom, but the, the wings are already there. Speak to Caesar. Right. That 
gliding was unnecessary. Listen. Sizo tilts her head a moment, leaning closer. Simoon. All at once, I know the hoverbike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizo know. Simoon. Sea moon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask yourself. Caesar looks entirely serious. The black, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Samoon that I'm eager to get to know her better, and Caesar looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps. But Caesar was prone to such things, and I can read it in her tone, that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travel sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Okay, machinist badge. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Sizo twice for good measure, and give a bow. I am ready. Is that the demo? Is that it? I think I did it. Ooh, that was nice. That was very interesting. There was some annoying little parts in there. I think the camera is a little bit shaky, but that could just be like an indie thing. Maybe it's also because it's not finished. So we'll see the final product in a few months. Um, but that was great. I wonder if I can wish list now return to title. Okay, cool. So it is over. Oh, that was awesome. I'm very, very much looking forward to that game. It seems a little bit like Zelda-esque with the, there's all the different mechanics like the gliding and the um, stamina with the climbing and the running and all of that sort of stuff, which is very cool. I like that. The art style is gorgeous and super interesting. Um, I have no idea how they did it. It's just this, this crazy filter over the top. Um, very, very cool. Uh, on their graphics team. Love that. Um, music is gorgeous. It's so nice the whole time. Um, the writing, a little bit pretentious. Maybe that's because I had to read it out and I'm not very good at reading and so it was difficult to read, but there are just words in there that I don't understand. Um, so it's not overly uh, simple language, but you know, it's fine. Um, I think I'm really, really going to love this game when it comes out. That was great. Yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm sorry it was pretty low energy, but this game is pretty low energy. And there was probably a whole bunch of cuts in there because of how badly I read most of that dialogue. Maybe I cut out most of it. I don't even know what I'm going to do in the final edit for this. But thank you so much. If you're not part of the Patreon, there is a link to that down in the description. Only three Australian dollars will get you into our super secret Discord with one of the best communities on the internet ever. I know there are so many people on the internet that say that they have the best communities ever, but ours is incredible they are so lovely whenever i introduce like random friends and people that i meet that jump onto my stream sometimes the community just like jumps on them and loves the crap out of them and and it's just it's great it's so nice so click down join that come hang out uh there are streams all the time also on twitch.tv slash et online e-t-t-o-n-i-l-i-n-e link down in the description as well i'll stuff that up because i can't talk anymore i'm going i can't talk fairly well